What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. In this next question, we're told in a class of 20 students, the probability that at least one fails a test is 86%. What's the probability that all students pass the test? This question, it's actually really easy. It's just sometimes maybe you could get confused with the wording, but notice that the probability that all students pass a test, that's the same as the probability that zero students fail, right? So that's another way that this could have been worded. What's the probability that all students pass the test? All students pass the test, meaning no students fail. And so if you think about it, the probability that zero students fail is equal to one minus the probability that at least one fails. Because here, this probability has a bunch of different um, scenarios. So either one student could fail, two, three, four, all the way to all students failing. But if you read the question, the probability that at least one student fails is 86%. So all those scenarios are contained within that 86% right there. And so we could just do one minus 0 0.86, which would give us 0.14 for the other side of that. At least one failing, well, the other side would be less than one failing, which would be zero failing. So the probability that zero students fail is equal to one minus the probability that at least one fails, one minus 0 0.86, that probability we were given. So the final answer is 0.14 or 14%.